friends and get tired of the same old coffee shop well good news there are fresh takes on places to get a good old cup of joe and much more Teresa strasser has unique cafes that'll raise your eyebrows even if you're drinking decaf it's on the buzz list Teresa. thanks guys trips to these cafes will definitely get people talking first Hemphill Farms Cafe in Phoenix, Arizona, which got the green light to start serving food. They make hemp-infused food and drink items that offer elevated levels of protein and omega oils. And no, guys, while hemp is a cannabis plant, it has no THC. So the only thing that's getting high is your health. Everything we use has hemp flour, hemp oil, hemp milk, hemp seed. I get asked every day, can I get high off anything in your menu or does it taste like marijuana? Not at all. None of it does. I compare it to sunflower seeds. If you've eaten a sunflower seed unsalted, a hemp seed tastes a lot like a sunflower seed. Sounds like all that food will not give you the munchies. So if it does, you're at a cafe eating food, so just keep eating. Next, there are two Colorado coffee shops that serve brews from vehicles. Bob Dalzell of Twin Lakes converted his 1975 Volkswagen bus into a shop called Percolated Peaks. I'll be sitting here and all of a sudden somebody comes up to the window so excited that they <laughs> that they discovered this and matthew pendleton's on the road coffee serves patrons in denver out of his 1968 vw beetle i've been doing this for a little over three years now i saw something similar over in chiang mai when's the last time any of you got a coffee out of a 68 beetle cool especially since usually when you hear the words 68 beetle and pick me up it involves a tow truck. And the third unique cafe making our list, the Blind Cafe, a pop-up experience touring the nation where visitors touch and taste different foods in complete darkness for 15 minutes. It is run by an organization staffed by either blind or visually impaired individuals and aims to give college students a new perspective and mindset. I really like the, the vulnerability that people show in the dark. So when you're in darkness, you experience a whole new different sense of who you are and like what, what you can become. I just really let it flow and I really let my emotions run through it. What an eye-opening experience. All new ways to eat and drink on the Buzz List. You know, I'd like to think of myself as an adventurous eater, so eating in the dark would be a cool experience. Would you try it? Well, I think I eat in the dark all the time because I don't know what my wife is cooking. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> we will be right back.